It's not a question of right or wrong. It's a question of being factual or being distant from the facts. You see what happens is, what's your name? Rishabh. Rishabh. You see Rishabh, what happens is, when Newton comes and says that these are the laws of gravitation, you do not fight with Newton, right? Even though he specifically names them as Newton's laws. You do not say that, why should I believe in your laws? Why? Because, <laughs> I mean, my own laws, for me, gravity is 12 meter per second square. Do you say that? I mean, my own sweet will, gravity, your gravity might be 9.8, mine is 12. It's okay, cool. My individuality, my free will. I am entitled to my thought. Why are you imposing your thought upon me? Ha, so understand this. There we don't quarrel with Newton. There we don't say that how dare you impose your thoughts upon me. There we are able to see that this is the fact of existence. And I can verify it for myself. Just as there are laws of science. And we can't quarrel with laws of science. They won't bend to accommodate your opinion or your role models. Similarly, there are laws of life. And those laws of life, Rishabh, are inviolable. You may like them or not. They cannot be fought with. And they are as much verifiable as the laws of science. Where do you verify the laws of science? Where do you verify the laws of science? In a laboratory. Where do you verify the laws of life? In life. Whatever is being said is verifiable. It's not a question of your thought versus somebody else's thought. Go ahead, look into life and test the factualness of it. First of all, this according to me needs to be removed. Science is not according to somebody. Life is not according to somebody. It is a hard fact. It doesn't matter what you think. Your thinking does not matter. Your own opinions have no value in front of life. Life is life. It is not a democracy. 40,000 people may come and say that we don't believe in gravity. Will that do anything to gravity? So, opinions are the enemy of truth. First of all, get rid of your opinions. Whatever is being said in this course is not somebody's personal opinion. All the wisdom literature of thousands of years and across continents, across philosophies and religions has been distilled to bring this course in front of you in the simplest form possible. It may appear to you as if somebody is talking, as if somebody's personal thoughts are being served to you. These are not somebody's thoughts. These are proven facts about life. Anybody who will open his eyes will see them. There is no question of imposing something upon you. Truth cannot be imposed upon anybody. It is there. It is there. 